The Defense Science and Technology Agency abbreviation, DSTA, Chinese, Guofongjikijiju is a statutory board under the Ministry of Defense Singapore of the Singapore Government. DSTA is responsible for performing acquisitions management, systems management, systems development for the Singapore Ministry of Defense and the Singapore Armed Forces. Overview DSTA implements defense technology plans, acquires defense equipment and supplies, and develops defense infrastructure for the Ministry of Defense History DSTA was formed as a statutory board on 15 March 2000 by combining the Defense Technology Group from MINDEF with two other organizations, the Systems and Computer Organization and the Defense Medical Research Institute from the Defense Administration Group. Mission. DSTA shall harness and exploit science and technology, and provide technological and engineering support, to meet the defense and national security needs of Singapore. <laughs> <laughs> Approach DSTA's approach to developing and acquiring defense technology is guided by the following principles. Buy off the shelf, wherever possible, to exploit market efficiency. Improve and upgrade equipment, where appropriate, to enhance operational performance. Build up local defense technology capabilities in areas of strategic importance to Singapore. Collaborate with local and international partners to augment indigenous technological capabilities. Topic Roles Topic Acquisition Management DSTA manages the acquisition of platforms, weapon and sensor systems, command, control, communications and computer C4 systems and building infrastructure for the SAF. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Systems management. DSTA provides engineering support for defense systems in the SAF to maintain a high state of operational readiness. The responsibilities include managing systems maintenance, upgrades, life extensions and assurance of munitions safety. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Systems development. DSTA develops command and control systems, information technology systems and protective infrastructure to meet strategic or the unique defense and security needs of Singapore. <laughs> DSTA program centers Program centers are the principal line operating units in DSTA. They are responsible for managing and ensuring the effective delivery of various programs within the specialized scope and area of focus. These program centers are grouped according to capability or function and comprise integrated project management teams or project management teams. 
they are responsible for providing options, acquiring and integrating the most cost-effective technology and when necessary, developing systems for Singapore's defence and national security needs. There are 14 program centres within DSTA. Topic: DSTA Master Planning and Systems Architecting. To meet the challenges of a network-centric Singapore Armed Forces (SAF), the DSTA Master Planning and Systems Architecting (DMSA) program center is positioned to develop systems architectures that ensure coherence, fit, and consistency across service domains technical disciplines and different phases of system life cycles. DMSA adopts an architectural framework approach with operations and technologists to develop blueprints for systems acquisition and development. This ensures that systems fit and interoperate with other systems to realize complex system of systems capabilities. Key functions Work with planners in the Ministry of Defence and the SAF to carry out systems architecture studies for new and emergent capabilities Synthesize and integrate capabilities of present and future systems within a coherent architecture of defence capabilities Collaborate with other DSTA program centers to develop blueprints and realize system of systems capabilities for MINDEF and the SAF program examples Operation analysis and optimization System of systems realization framework MINDEF and SAF enterprise architecture development Technology exploration and experimentation. Topic: Air Systems. The Air Systems Program Center works closely with the Republic of Singapore Air Force (RSAF) and plays a key role in keeping the RSAF operationally ready. It is responsible for handling acquisition, systems integration and development, as well as upgrading air platforms. The work of the program center encompasses diverse air capabilities, including fighter jets, mission aircraft, transports, helicopters and unmanned aerial vehicles UAV. Key functions Conduct careful evaluation of systems through comprehensive market surveys Adapt aircraft and weapon systems capabilities to meet specific operational requirements Utilize the latest technologies to equip existing aircraft with sophisticated operational capabilities and to extend their operational lifespans Develop organic and local industry capabilities to support newly deployed technologies and systems. Program examples F 15SG multi role fighter aircraft, Gulfstream 550 airborne early warning aircraft, S 70B Seahawk naval helicopter. AH-64D Apache Attack Helicopter Chinook Medium Lift Helicopter Hermes 450 Unmanned Aerial Vehicle Fighter Trainer Aircraft Naval Systems The Naval Systems Program Center acquires and integrates advanced surface and underwater naval systems for the Republic of Singapore Navy This stretches across naval platforms such as frigates, missile corvettes, mine countermeasure vessels, patrol vessels, landing ship tanks, submarines and unmanned vehicles, and also encompasses naval weapons, sensors and communication systems.
Key functions Acquire, develop and integrate naval and weapon systems to meet the RSN's operational requirements Provide expertise in the areas of naval engineering and systems integration Conduct comprehensive market surveys Guide the development of new naval capabilities by working closely with the Singapore Armed Forces to conduct systems architecting studies and develop engineering master plans program examples. Formidable class frigate, Archer class submarine, Submarine support and rescue vessel, Missile corvette. Mine countermeasure vessel Stabilized naval gun system Unmanned surface vehicle USV. <inaudible> <inaudible> Land systems The Land Systems Program Center is responsible for the acquisition, development and integration of land platforms and systems such as tanks, infantry fighting vehicles, tactical vehicles, bridging equipment, soldier systems, guided weapons, and command, control, communication and sensor systems for the Singapore Army. Key functions conducts comprehensive market surveys to evaluate the most technologically competitive and cost-effective technologies to meet the Singapore Army's platform and system of systems needs acquires and integrates land and weapon systems capabilities develops local capabilities for technologies that are commercially unavailable program examples Leopard 2A4 main battle tank Terex infantry carrier vehicle Advanced combat man system Army tactical command, control, communication and sensor system Army medical support system Trailblazer countermine vehicle High Mobility Artillery Rocket System HIMARS Man Portable Anti-Tank, Anti-Door Matador Disposable Anti-Armor Weapon System Peacekeeper Protected Response Vehicle Peacekeeper PRV Topic <laughs> Networked Systems The Networked Systems Program Center is responsible for delivering programs that allow the SAF to fight as a networked force. This is achieved by the integration of various off-the-shelf and developmental systems in C4ISR command, control, communications, computers, information, surveillance and reconnaissance systems, simulation, instrumentation systems, sensor systems, air defense systems and command and control C2 centers. Key functions Conducts comprehensive market surveys Acquires and integrates air and coastal defense, as well as simulation and battlefield instrumentation Provides engineering consultancy services in the areas of C2 systems, voice communication and systems integration Provides technology advice and engineering support to MHA, Home Team, NSCC and other national security agencies on national security matters program examples. Development of air defense with acquired sensors and weapons. Development and upgrading of air defense systems. Acquisition of SAF communication equipment. Development of instrumented battlefield C2 systems for home team departments and risk assessment and horizon scanning system for national security. Topic. 
C4I development The C4I Development Program Center exploits technologies to develop command and control, communications, computer and intelligence C4I to enable the Singapore Armed Forces SAF achieve a high state of situational awareness and operational effectiveness. Key functions Develops knowledge-based C4I systems covering strategic C2 systems, air and naval tactical C2 systems, communication systems, intelligence C2 systems, and modeling and simulation systems for the SAF to conduct a full spectrum of operations ensures interoperability across the suite of C4I systems based on a common C4I system architecture develops prototypes in accordance with evolving operational requirements leverages modeling and simulation technologies for mission rehearsals training and experimentation of operational concepts program examples development and integration of the combat management system on board the formidable class stealth frigates upgrading of the mission computer on board the E2C airborne early warning aircraft development of an air command and control hub to replace an aging air traffic control system topic Building and infrastructure The Building and Infrastructure Program Center plans and designs defense infrastructure for the Ministry of Defense and the Singapore Armed Forces The Program Center also develops large-scale operational and administrative buildings, and conducts research on protective technology. Key functions Design and develop operational facilities and administrative buildings to support MINDEF and SAF operations Research on, develop and apply protective concepts, technology to enhance the survivability of personnel, assets and critical operational functions Plan land use, estate and facility management for MINDEF and SAF buildings and infrastructure program examples. Underground ammunition facility. Naval bases. Army camp complexes and training facilities. Chungi Air Base East. Explosive testing. Topic. Systems management The Systems Management SM Program Center provides through life systems management support for a wide spectrum of systems to MINDEF and the SAF. It is responsible for ensuring good system health, high availability and high serviceability of these systems and equipment. Key functions Performs maintenance, system and contract management for in-service systems. Provides engineering support and consultancy to ensure high system availability and serviceability. Manages system upgrades and system life extension programs to prevent system obsolescence. Manages ammunition replenishment programs. Provides maintenance management and upkeep of all MINDEF and SAF buildings and infrastructure system management engineers provide support that spreads over a diverse range of engineering disciplines and technologies. The system groups are Weapon and sensor systems Armament systems Command, control, communications and intelligence systems IT and infrastructure Building and facility management Topic 
Infocom infrastructure The Infocom Infrastructure Program Center develops and manages secure integrated information infrastructure and mobility solutions for MINDEF and the SAF. Key functions Develops and manages the technical architecture for information infrastructure Acquires, designs and integrates information infrastructure to meet enterprise and program-specific requirements Develops local capabilities for technologies that are not commercially available <laughs> Enterprise IT The Enterprise IT Program Center is responsible for the acquisition, development and integration for various lines of businesses in MINDEF and the SAF. These areas range from logistics, finance, human resource, procurement, medical, training, to the management of ammunition, building and infrastructure. Program examples MINDEF – SAF Enterprise System Program to deliver a single enterprise resource planning ERP for the Army, Navy, Air Force, Joint and MINDEF EHR Program to support the planning and management of manpower within MINDEF and the SAF Integrated Ammunition Management Program to oversee the management of ammunition throughout its life cycle Mobilization and unit management system from the activation to the in and out processing of NS men at their units Enterprise system for innovation learning and knowledge a silk to support a common electronic workspace across MINDEF, SAF from the exchange of ideas, collaboration, to the storage, retrieval and discovery of information Learning Network Learn it, and Training Management Systems to support an effective approach to competency development and learning through the optimal use of available resources. Procurement <inaudible> 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 The Procurement Program Center provides procurement and related services to achieve cost effectiveness for the Ministry of Defense and the Singapore Armed Forces, as well as for the public sector in Singapore. This program center guides users from DSTA, MINDEF, SAF and government agencies through the entire procurement process, ensuring fairness and transparency to maintain probity and public trust in government procurement procedures. Key functions Conduct sourcing, tendering, evaluation, contracting and contract management Interacts with customers to provide better analysis and understanding of their requirements Engages industries to better understand the market supply situation program examples Public-private partnerships or PPP contracting, such as the basic wings course Performance-based contracting, such as power by the hour Demand aggregation and reverse auction of commodity items Period contract – framework agreement, basic ordering agreement for life cycle support of weapon systems Integrated workforce concept, such as providing support for maintenance DSTA Academy. DSTA Academy develops training programs. Key functions Offer milestone and specialized courses for staff Provide course participants with an immersive environment to learn about planning, designing and delivering to meet complex requirements in their work 
publish DSTA Horizons, a repository of DSTA's diverse expertise in technology to raise awareness of the challenges in defense engineering. Provide print, multimedia and electronic information resources. Support DSTA's project management teams through targeted reference and research services. Topic: Advanced Systems. The Advanced Systems Program Center acquires, develops and integrates communications systems, sensor solutions and guided weapons. Topic: Cybersecurity. The Cybersecurity Program Center develops advanced cyber defense solutions to provide protection and detection, threat sensing and incident response, as well as security audit capabilities for MINDEF and the SAF. <laughs> <laughs> Cyber 